Alright guys, welcome to another beer review. You'll have to bear with me. Slightly hungover. Just got out of the shower. Went to buy some cigs. And I'm sweating like a pig already. And it's gloomy outside and cold. Work that one out. Oh, it's because I'm heavily overweight. But uh, today... I've already had a double IPA this morning. And I thought that would like tide me over. But I need that second beer just to get me up. Uh, that's what she said. So... Today we're going over to uh, Evolution Brew Co and this collaboration with Padstow Brewing Company and this is a can of the Double Bukok Doppelbock I clock it in at 7% ABV I know I completely misread that but I'm not going to retry that So Double Bukok, I've just said I'm not going to try it but whatever It's a collaboration with Padstow Brewing Company from Cornwall with a German brew house here at Evolution that is capable of doing lagers the traditional way in using a st I can't read because it's a bit dark in here today um, in a steep way process we thought it would be rude not to utilize this god I can't read <coughs> excuse me a complex multi Base delivered from six different malts leaves a little residual sweetness followed by a crisp finish a great lager for those that love the style but with extra flavor and I do indeed love a good Doppelbock it's probably top five favorite styles ever um, you know just so many countless flawless examples like uh, the Salvatore Maximator from Augustina um, Oh, what's the one from Veltenberger? Kloster Assambok, just ultimate beer, that one. And then you've got like uh, Schleinkerler who do them. And then the, the whole pretty much country uh, of Germany and the traditional breweries that you'll find nestled in sleepy, you know, towns and things like that, just producing some, some of the best beer in the world. I've always said it. I think Germany for me is the, the best brewing country. And uh, and that's not just traditional. I've had some wonderful craft offerings from Germany as well. So when I saw that um, the Lankish Bottle Shop was selling a Doppelbock, I had to get on it. But I don't think I've ever really had anything from Evolution or Padstow. So I'm really intrigued to give that a try. So lovely artwork on this one. I'm, I'm slightly slobbering and I don't know why. Anyway, oh, nice little action. And uh, they're in good company with me, Augustina glass. One of my favourite glasses. It's just a simple, like, pint glass, beer glass, but just, oh, Augustine, Augustina, I'm just a massive fanboy of, so. It seemed fitting to put uh, a Doppelbock in this. And uh, yeah, it's looking like a Doppelbock. Maybe a little bit lighter. Light coming through really nicely. Do apologise for this oversaturated square there. But um yeah, nice and unfiltered. Head dissipated straight away. It's looking like a multi toffee drink, do you know what I mean? Maybe like a dark apple juice. So let's see what we get on the nose. You get loads of steeped fruits, damp, bready, multi character. Apologies about that, I look gormous on camera going, got interrupted. But yeah, lovely steeped fruits, a little bit of toffee, sticky sweet malts, that muskiness you expect from a German lager. It's smelling spot on, it's smelling really damn good. So let's see what we get on the flavour. Cheers. You get those classic top pot flavours, but I would say there's a little bit more emphasis on fruit on this. It's like got like a fermented, slightly off fruit character. You know when like uh, if you bruise a fruit and it starts to bruise it, I always find it gets a little bit savoury. That's what this is reminding me of. Just the right amount of carbonation. Not as carved as you'd expect a Doppelbox to be, though. So that sort of like defeats what I've just said, doesn't it? 
hypocrite here. You're an absolute hypocrite. But yeah, nice little peppery spiciness on the back end. Nice chewy dense maltiness. With just a little bit more fruit. I mean, I know Doppelbox have quite a fruity flavour anyway. This has got like a little bit more of a brighter fruit character. As opposed to like a really dense, you know, steeped whatever dark fruits. Plums and, you know, figs and stuff like that. You do get that, but it's just got a little bit of a tweak to it. <laughs> and I'm slowly dying because uh, heaven is trying to attract me back in. Um, back in, I've not died before, by the way. Yeah, don't worry. You haven't died and come to heaven. You've just got me. Anyway, this is tasting really good, actually. I'd like maybe a little bit more breadiness, but then I'm really quite... I'm a qu I'm quite snobby when it comes to, like, UK brewers brewing, like, German styles, and especially when it's, like, Doppelbox. I don't know what it is. I get really quite protective when I've got no reason to get protective over them because, you know, I'm, I'm not German. Um, but I don't know. It's, it's sort of like bending with the boundaries a little bit, but it's not straying too far where it becomes a bastardised version of the style that they're trying to create. It's exactly what they've, they've said on the can um, with a little bit more flavour that you don't really tend to get with a Doppelbock. Almost has like um, a slight fight some buck character to it. It's a subtle hint of vanilla cinnamon. Should have had a little bit more of like a, a, a rye bread character. But I'm not gonna, you know, detract too much for something like that. 7% ABV is masked beautifully. Um, even some Doppelbox you'll have at the same ABV. The the alcohol is really present um, and can be sometimes um, a little bit... I don't know what's going on here. How many times in recent videos have I played with my lockdown here? Look at... Look at that. I look like a paedophile. Um, but yeah. I mentioned paedophilia too much in my videos, by the way. and like making Jimmy Savile references. I need to stop it. Um, but yeah, this is lovely stuff. And Joe, you know I've not had a Doppelbock for ages, criminally, because um, they're one of my favourite styles. I need to pick up more. As soon as Maximator is back available widely in the UK, although it's never really wide, widely available, then I'm going to pick up uh, some bottles of it. But if you like your good German Doppelbock, you're going to really enjoy this. But it's just got something a little bit different about it, which um, I'm not not too upset about. So in terms of a rating then, on that's the wrong beer. On the doppel bacock or bacock, I don't know how you want to say it. I'm gonna give that a gonna give it an eight out of ten. Really good effort and I'll, the fact that they've got a German brew pub um evolution. I wanna try more of their sort of lagers and stuff. Because I think the UK brewers are brewing some fantastic fantastic authentic tasting lagers without just making them like boring IPLs so you know a lot of respect to the brewing traditions of Germany and Bavaria and I think they've done a really stand up job and I'd happily happily buy this again so 8 out of 10 if you've tried it let no thoughts opinions down below got to put evolutions Website and Padstow's website is all social media links. And if they've got web shops, I'll put the relevant web shops there as well. Pick this up from Lancashire Bottle Shop. Could have closed the fucking door. Lancashire Bottle Shop, highly recommended. Go check them out as well. Links in the description. And if you want to see uh, some Doppelbot reviews, I've got loads on the channel. So if I remember, I'll put the playlist, but I'll probably forget because that's just what I do. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I shall hopefully see you all later. Cheers.